Hello everyone, my name is Pellicent Moon and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9, Episode 7. I can't get this, I can't get this, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at flying. Hello? Oh, it's here, you're doing nothing. I'm just trying to perform. <laughs> nothing? You are nothing? nothing no? Oh, give me a second. <laughs> I will get it. Huh. I'm here now, but now you're down there. This didn't work out as I expected. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on up there? <laughs> I was just trying to land and being really bad at it. Are you here for the other basement for sale? You have you have another basement? I've got basements for days for sale. How many basements does your tree have? It's a tree. <laughs> why, does it, why does a tree have basements, Scott? <laughs> well, you gotta think about it this way. A basement can stem from a root and a tree can have as many roots as it wants. Oh my gosh. Okay, you've got a point. All right, well, let's see this basement then. Let's see it. Step on inside. Step okay. on inside. Mm -hmm. This is a well-appointed hallway that will lead oh you gosh. to your dreams of this area. Yep, mm-hmm. Spacious. It's, um... A, a built-in pool. All the rage. Not heated, sadly. I can see it's well looked after. Uh, with the, even the, all the dirt and everything and the... The gravel, yep, it's very well looked at. Yeah. It's even got a sparkly got wall. It's a feature wall. Okay. Batman, Mole Man, you know. But so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get on mm. it quick. I, I do like the sparkles, but you know, I, you know <laughs> what? You've got a proposition for me, but I've got a proposition for you. You know. Oh. How about we How about we both get into like the business sense of things, all right? And lift up the mood, all right? But I have okay. some serious business to discuss with you, sir. All right, all right. You have some I sort of. I detected a pun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you've got some pretty... What is with that horrifying creature on top of your base, Gar? Why is the cookie monster Oh, the cookie monster? Mm -hmm. It's terrifying. It's nightmares. <laughs> okay? So I was taking it down, and I got a phone call. And I come <laughs> back the next day, and I'm like, Oh, no, I forgot about that. You and didn't... then I'm just... You just left I'm it? I'm too lazy to you finish it. You were just like, it. yeah, I'm that's too... fine. You're going to give everyone nightmares? Let's help you, right? These shears, right? These glory shears in my hand... They uh -huh. can insta-break wool blocks without a need for a beacon. They don't need anything. Just insta-break. All right? This without will help you tenfold. Yeah, without a beacon. Do you want me to example it for you? I can show you. Yes. Okay, let's go to, let's go to your hor horrifying creature. All right, so, yeah, prepare yourself when you see the cookie monster, which is like a child very, very angry and has lost it, an ear. It is horrifying. All right? Um, I'm just going to show you the effect of these shears, okay? It's going to be fantastic. Okay, I want to see the effect. All right, you see this? You ready? Got my shears yeah, out? I want to watch the demonstration. Yep. Look at this. It's just hoeing through Whoa. the entire thing, you know? You just you just keep on going, all right? And you just take the whole thing down in an instant, you know? You see? You take... How have these never been in my life before? I don't know, you oh. know? It's... <laughs> Don't do that. Don't pull Bro, it down. I died a lot today. I, I, that's why I've got the uh, the token in my hand right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> this is great. Thank you for taking this down, Pearl. I appreciate what, the what, service here. Wait, what do you mean? I'm just going to sit back, this... relax. Scott. Oh, I'll test some of these cookies. N no, I'm, uh, no, you're testing in the kitchen. No. Oh, no. this is great. No. No. Yeah, keep going. You're good. Yeah, what, you're doing do, great do work. Do I need to show them to you a bit more before it to convince you to buy them? Yeah, I'm gonna need a oh, little okay. bit more of a demonstration. Maybe, yeah, I'll, maybe right. I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, I'm not doing this as a service. All right, you're gonna <laughs> buy these shears because I'm convincing you to buy them. Like, look at this. It's amazing. Look at it just wear through the entire, the entire oh, thing. Oh, it is. This is absolutely wonderful. I am I'm yeah, loving yeah. every minute of it. Just keep going. This is okay. going really, so, really well. Wait, does this mean you'll buy some shears, Scott? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah. Just, just just keep demonstrating this. Okay, yep, this I, I am, I am. All right, if this is working, then maybe I'm fine to keep like showing The durability you is off the chart right now. The I know, I could finish this entire cookie monster and they won't be broken. <laughs> like, I'm legit. Do you mean to, I can prove that? As much as I'm enjoying this, I kind of want to try. You kind of want to try? Well, do you want to buy your own fancy set of shoes? Hey, eh, eh? Is there a good guy discount? Ah! <laughs> Maybe there's a whole guy. Oh, this count. is really dangerous. <laughs> oh, I've here? been here before. I broke the sun. I mean, I've been here before. Excuse me? You did what now? Nothing. Nothing why'd, at all. Why'd you look at the sign? What did you do? Scott? Oh, it's a beautiful sign. It's a wonderful sign. It is sign. a great well, sign. I put so much effort into this, you know? I would it's hate if someone. Be, it can be easily be broken. Break it. Yeah. Yeah, stay back from it. It's dangerous. Yeah. It's very dangerous, Scott. 
I know what you did. <laughs> Get your scum butt up here. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Right, All so right. here is my lovely stock. I recommend, highly recommend you look inside the chests and uh, think about what they're worth. That okay, they're, they're eight diamonds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But do you see you the names coming? Well, I do, nothing, I do. What do you mean? What, what, what could intrigue you that's not diamonds? I literally have zero diamonds. Uh, There's gotta be something, Pearl. Shiny blue rocks? Those are diamonds. A bulbous blue rock. I owe you. And I, that's not a bulbous blue rock. That's a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. All right. I'm going to have to do something that I didn't want to do. Okay. I'll be right back. Did I crawl or smash his face and like come back in? They don't call me Top Gun for now. <laughs> All right. What do you got? I have come with diamonds. I have broken my oh! pillar. Well, that's, this is 11 diamonds, Scar. Uh, for the services of breaking. Uh, half of the you know, I was I was thinking about charging you, but I could I can't take eleven diamonds from someone that doesn't have it. I have to go with Frank Sheernost Sheernost Frank Sheernost Nost. I got this. Don't worry. Yep. Yep. Frank Sheernatra. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Frank Sheernatra. Yeah, we did it. It. I, I love, love Frank Sinatra. This is perfect. These are the perfect ones for me. Yeah, everyone's come found the perfect shoe. Okay. I don't right. know if I could take 11 diamonds from you, this guy. No, no, no. no. I, I broke them. I already broke my soul by breaking it. You know, oh. Grian's trying. Have you seen Grian's teeny, incy, wincy, tiny, weeny little uh, pillar over there? Oh, yeah. That's. Look at it. That is very small. Look, at it. look, um, look, look. You know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even click. When you said you had no diamonds, I forgot that you have a, literally a giant diamond or pillar. I know, but now he's trying to be in competition with me, so I'm trying to maintain mm. the integrity of the pillar, but it was worth it. All right, well, you know, well, I don't feel guilty about taking 11 diamonds now. I appreciate your business, Scar. I appreciate these shears, the Frank... Um, I appreciate Frank, Frank uh, sheer nature. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that'll probably... Actually, I gotta take this down now. Goodbye, Pearl. Okay, goodbye, goodbye Scar. I'll think about your basement. Oh, that was that looked like a turret. Whoa. What is that over there? That's what I. No! <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just know I had to try and sell Scar some shears, especially with that horrifying cookie monster he had left up in his tree for the longest time without a face. We, we, I think we did a service to the Hermitcraft server here because it's already gone. He's, he's already done it. He's already taken it down. And it looks like he's also searching for some eggs right now over there somewhere. But hey, it worked. We made 11 diamonds out of that transaction and I was not expecting that whatsoever. Speaking of diamonds, let's take a look at how many we potentially have made. And there's already three sold in this chest. Let's go. Oh wait, hold on. These prices just aren't cutting it, thanks to the cutting hedge technology. <laughs> Someone's punned me right back. Oh, you know, that's fantastic. I support I support the punnage. <laughs> that's fantastic. More diamonds in this one, none in that one, and another eight here. So we've made a total of, I don't know how much because someone named these diamonds different. Do the math, I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> But I think this shop is working out really, 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 really well for something that is just a starter base shop. Profitable both in person and just left alone. Let's chuck our diamonds in our little tool shulker box here. And as you can see, I have quite a lot more diamonds in here that also haven't been mined. I was actually saving those up because as you can see right here, both Scar and Grian have their own little tiny deep slate diamond pillars and it's adorable. <laughs> Scar showed me that while we were doing the transaction and I, th I think it's time for me to join in. What do you guys say? There we go. I think right here is going to do it just nicely and just a two by two because that's the size that they have on their pillar. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing and see how high we can make this thing. So yep, there we go. We have our diamond tower. Now it probably isn't as tall as Scar's. I've, I've got no idea, honestly, but yeah, it's a good start. It's a good start and I'll keep adding to it the more diamonds that I find. Diamond pillar aside, we actually have another slightly more pressing matter to attend to because the easter egg hunt is now live and I think I have about two hours before it closes. I'm not gonna lie, I am both excited and also dreading this hunt because uh, the onyx deer... <laughs> 
<laughs> There's so many edges to, to explore and see if we can find little eggs on. We have we have less than two hours to go search for 18 eggs. All right. All right, time to do it. Let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna start inside and see if we can find any in here first before we get to that creature. Of course we have Iskel's totally not an egg right here. So I am gonna pick that up. I was thinking of uh, leaving it till last, but I can't help myself. I have to get it right now. So there we go. There is Iskel's egg done. You really gotta search each and every crevice in these bases because when I was also hiding eggs in other people's bases, I kind of got a sense of an idea about where, <laughs> see, where people were hiding them and also what tactics you can use to hide the eggs, which means you have like a different perspective when trying to find them as well. I need a block to get up there. I can't reach that. Bup. We have a, a beat up egg and an Iskel egg. All right, time to find another 16 more eggs. <laughs> oh, yay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Snowman. I didn't mean to hit you. I need to get these. How do I get these? Now? Oh, 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 there's okay. I didn't mean to kill my snowman, but there's three eggs in the one place. <laughs> oh no, my poor snowman. Boop. Wait, hold on a second. Why is there a tropical fish with coordinates in my composter? Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate that um, right after we do the heads because I, I'm very curious what on earth this is. Boop. Don't you hurt me! Don't you hurt me! No! <laughs> no! Oh, oh, he's actually gonna kill me! He's actually gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! Oh. Oh. Speaking of Scar, I have one on the hand of my creature. E E.T. photo. <laughs> and I think it's also on a finger as well. Oh, Scar. Oh, Scar. I'm, I'm gonna take that and put that in the crate. <laughs> Thank you, Scar. Boop! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh my gosh! I was just like, hmm. I wonder if you could put, like, technically if you can dispense eggs onto the heads of villagers. So I was trying to check for that, as obviously I don't want to let my villagers out. And I found greens. Oh my gosh, that took so long! I've got two left to find. Stress and green. Well, I had two left to find, and that's probably gone off of my roof. I finally found greens. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stress is officially the last one I need to find, and I have been searching for probably about an hour now, or maybe just under an hour, and I can't find her. I, I can't find her. I've been looking inside the base and outside the base. The only thing I haven't checked, like, extremely thoroughly is the Onyx Deer and... Oh my gosh, I I just don't even know. I don't even know. I'm gonna still look. I have another hour until it closes. I found it! I found it! There it is! Oh my gosh! I just remembered I hadn't checked these, like, set of chests. And there she is! Oh my gosh. Oh, now I have to actually get it out. <laughs> oh, I found them all! And there was only two technically up above the base. There was Scar on the hand of it, and then we had Doc inside the actual spaceship. I'm surprised, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh my gosh, we found them all. Fantastic. That means to finalize our search, we need to return our Easter basket right back from, to where it came from in the first place. The lovely big egg over there and submit our results. You know, as it were, it only been like a few minutes since I did like the last little little clip thing until I found stresses. So it was about an hour of searching and that's not too bad for a base of my size at all. All right, time to return this thing. Bam, bam, and bam. All done. I'm very much looking forward to the results on this and if there is going to be a tiebreaker at all, because the tiebreaker is like, what was it? One like really quick rapid egg hunt type of thing. So very curious to see who is going to win this and if there's a tiebreaker at all. Did I mine a little bit more while waiting for the Easter egg hunts to be released? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just to give you guys a little bit of an idea about how much I tend to strip mine. Yeah, just just take a look at the deep slate here. The whole 40,000. Let's add these lovely shinies on here and see if we can compete to the two lovely neighbors that we have. Scar and... Green. What? <laughs> Where did Green get all those diamonds from? Why is that so tall all of a sudden? I, I mine so much. Like, wh how are these people doing this? I don't understand. I mean, I don't know how much this is gonna increase my height, but my gosh, that is insane. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Look, I'm trying my best, okay? I'm out of diamonds already. Uh, I, I'm trying my best. I think mine is also on a bit of a lower Y level coordinate than both Scar and Gree, but it, sh it sh wouldn't be by much, surely. And mine just feels like it's nowhere near the height of these two. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. It'll be fine. To be fair, I don't have any idea why I'm doing it in the first place, but yeah. It's okay. But like I said, I, you know, did that mining while I was waiting for the Easter egg hunt results and they've now been released and we have a little bit of a surprise in our base. It's a, it's a little girl Easter egg basket box uh, returned to us. Let's have a look. Oh, 14 of my little eggs were found. Now we had 18 eggs in total to hide. So that means it looks like where are my eggs haven't been found by other hermits. So that's a pretty good number. Hermitcraft Easter egg hunt results. There we go. Oh, Green, Zuma and Hypno all have five. That was so close. I have four. If I just hidden one more better, we might have been able to, to make it to the end there. But oh, well, we came so close. Got a lot of people on three points. Got XP on two. Joe was a lot of people on two points as well. Then Doc and a B-dubs. So there we go. We didn't win, but that is OK. And as you know, you know, like we just said, I don't mind mining. So we can just go and get some of that netherite stuff ourselves soon. It's it's fun. If you'd like to see the tiebreaker, just make sure you guys check out Green, Zuma and Hypno for the results on that egg hunt because they're doing like some sort of like really quick 15 minute tiebreaker egg hunt it's probably somewhere in this spawn area i'd imagine so it kind of sounds like a lot of fun so go check that out also a big thank you to jeff for putting together that entire thing as well it did an absolutely fantastic job and the eggs are absolutely adorable and we get to keep them as well look at these little things huh <laughs> Hello. Wait, hold on. We gotta put one on our heads. There we go. Right as everything should be. Moving on to the really big stuff now. It's mega base building time. Last episode, we got to borrow this lovely beacon from Tango under the condition that we had to sing a song, you know, well, every time we wanted a different resource. And the first song that we sung was indeed for terracotta. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit, farm some terracotta and hopefully get enough for building the base with. Well, now that the mesa looks like a birthday cake and I feel like we have a sufficient amount of terracotta, I think we need to start looking into the next resource that we need, which is, uh, you know, the lovely granite block. So we're going to have to, per the rules of the beacon, go poke tango and probably sing another song. How did the terracotta acquisition go? I think it went great. I think I have enough. I think. I'm okay. hoping because okay. I don't really want to sing Still another got the song. Shiny beacon. Yes. Oh. So I'll hand oh. this back because, as per your rules, right. I've got to sing for the next resource, right? And, and, and the next resource is. I I technically need uh hold on it, I I need granite, but I also need stone, okay. and, and they're kind of like the same, right? So can I just sing? It's all, it's one, all rocks. One song? It's all rocks. Yeah, it's all rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. Exactly. So okay. I can sing your song. It's going to be terrible. about gra granite, stone, and rocks. Ready? Okay, Go. I got it. Yep, right now? Okay. A do, 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 do. Oh, granite. I really need a rock da, da, da. or two. A little pink rock da, da, da. or three. A tiny cube <gasps> or four. Oh, stone. Crucial to my land and soul. Gotta give it my all as I stand tall. Oh, Tango, would you do me a favor and lend me the pretty block? Just hands. <laughs> that was so good. Yes. That was amazing. I was so nervous. Amazing. I mean, it was, you know, just a little bit better than your last performance. Just a little bit. I'll, Come on. I'll, I'll give I you even, that. I yeah. even jazz hands at the end, man. Come on. I, I, I can feel the jazz hands coming yeah. through there. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, okay. You get all the pretty rocks you want. Go diggy diggy and, uh, and have fun. Yay. I will. Oh, I'm, I'm going to collect so some, some stuff now. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> I leave Goodbye. now before you make me sing another song. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad that Tango allowed me to get both stone and granite in one because I don't know how much more singing I can do. I'm not that creatively inclined with music. <laughs> but check out all of the resources that I now have from our beacon mining sessions. Now I've also got some stone and other kind of stuff also mined as well. 
but we have a pretty significant chunk to, you know, get our terrain base started. Of course, these aren't all the resources I will need, but pretty much the rest of it are things that I don't need a beacon for, so we don't have to do any more singing. Oh my gosh, it has been a hot minute since I've flown over to this area because I've been doing a few mining things in the uh, in the starter area. Impulse has already gotten started on his mega base. And oh my gosh, check out the blocks he's using so far. He's using so much copper. Oh my gosh. Ash is rich. Wowee. That is looking fantastic. I believe Impulse is going for a dwarven type of theme this season and he's got a whole dwarf get up going as well. And this is looking fantastic. Oh boy. We gotta get us started. I'm so excited. The first section I can build for my base is going to be laying out all of the groundwork for my terrain. So it's going to be basically, you know, the basic shapes of the terrain and probably some rocks as well. Now the trees and the kind of plant life stuff aren't going to happen just yet because for now we're just going to focus on getting those shapes going. But now that I've spent all of that time singing and getting the essentials, <laughs> I'm very excited to just get going and get building. So let's start that time lapse. Let's go! scar death later and I have a bunch of elven cookies but check these things out I was just building my terrain and scout was like you know what I'm just gonna drop by and then kill me twice and then drop some cookies in my face so I've got a lovely elven kiss oh gosh ah, ah, they're very dangerous okay I'm kind of scared eating those now my golly goo two creepers that's not a good place to teleport to <laughs> But we have the lovely elven kiss and we have an elven cookie which I can't actually eat with full hunger so kind of curious what the saturation is like on that, but very, very yummy. We will have to check out his cookie factory next time we're in the starter base area because there is also one more cookie that he didn't give to us and I would like to give that a taste test. So next time we're around there, we'll go pop a visit. Anyway, a few straight days of building later and I now have some base terrain happening. Check this thing out. It's got kind of almost a little bit of a canyon type of vibe but with a lot more of a lush green touch. I quite like it. There's quite a few overhangs here as well with a lot of potential for some structures on top of them and you can also build some tunnels underneath which is uh, my intention for creating that gradual slope down underneath the actual terrain itself. I think it's going to be quite nice at the end of the day. This thing isn't quite as finished as I kind of intended it to be but it was just taking so long at that point that I had to just stop at some point and say I'll do the rest in the next episode. All of this over there was supposed to be terraformed as well, so there's a little bit more work for us to do. Plus I haven't done the rocks, I also intended to build some rocks, there's some big empty spaces for those which will also happen in the next episode. I also came to realize while I was building it that this palette is kind of similar to my mountain palette from last season. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I keep gravitating towards the orange and the greens, but it just complements each other so nicely and I really liked it. So that's what I ended up with. <laughs> it's fine. I think it's also going to change quite a lot once I get the actual rocks in. That's going to help add a little bit more contrast in there. Plus, I'm going to be building, you know, some, some alien-like trees or something. I have no idea. I haven't got that far ahead yet. But once we chuck those trees and plants and rocks in and all those kinds of things, I think it could, should create a very, very unique biome of its own and look absolutely fantastic. Uh, you may also notice as I walk over the top of this actual landscape that there is a lot of moss. Like, a lot, a lot of moss. I was definitely not going to farm all of this moss by hand. The whole terrain by itself takes several thousand blocks of moss and that was not something that I was going to make a hole in some land for. In time, I decided to kind of make a starter mega base. Is that, is that kind of 
count right there and created this little little room in the top of the mountain dug it out and made myself an actual automatic moss farm that made this process so much easier as i am actually fairly useless in redstone and my knowledge is very very basic i actually did follow a tutorial for the basic brunt of this farm itself and that is a tutorial by chapman who i'll be leaving a link down in the description below for you all to check out so thank you very much Chatman for that. There are a few changes that I did make to the farm, however, the bulk of this right here is Chatman's design, but I have added an extra piece off to the side. If we look down below, this is an auto item sorter. So what I get down here is I get the moss blocks and the two sapling versions that filter into these two or sorry, three columns of chests. The rest of it, which is the seeds and the moss carpets, gets filtered off into this composter right here to generate bone meal. Then it pops down into the dropper below that pops into a water stream, brings the output bone meal all the way around up into this bubble column right here and then feeds the bone meal back into the moss machine. <laughs> moss machine itself so that it can continue working. Unfortunately, it does not completely sustain itself, but it at least saves me a little from buying some more bone blocks at Gem Shop. I've already spent about 10 diamonds over there for this farm, so she received a good share already. I also want to send some huge love to the community as we worked on figuring out the auto sorting segment together during one of my live streams a few days ago, and it was so much fun. So thank you guys, <laughs> that was awesome. Either way, the terrain is now at a good spot and I'm very, very much looking forward to building on this more in the future. I have so many plans that I can undertake here. I haven't planned too much ahead, but we're certainly going to figure it out and it's going to look absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited. However, that is the end of the episode, guys. So thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to come and watch my perspective of Hammercraft. So thank you, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Mmm, cookies! <laughs>